All right, I've been at the river for, what is it, a couple days, a day and a half. And, the well, last week too, I guess, I was getting asked quite a bit what I'm doing with all my salmon and everything. And right now, since it's so slow and it's been pretty rough, is that I'm just vacuum packing them. I've been smoking some here and there, the bellies and the back straps and everything else like that. But I wanna show everyone one of the tips because I keep explaining it to everybody, but I'm not sure if I'm making sense when I'm explaining it. So what do I do and how I do uh, the, the storing of the salmon? So I'll give you a, a couple tips hopefully today, something that you can use uh, to benefit yourself. So one of the things, I start off with is the saran wrap. Uh, you get it at Costco or whatever. Get the big, the big good stuff. Don't, don't get the cheap stuff or the small stuff because you're you're storing this for a reason. It's to last. If you get something that doesn't work, then it doesn't last. And what's the point of getting it? So I'll get that. I'll take my salmon, salmon fillets and then I'll put them, put them in it. Take my saran wrap and then put it over and then I'll take extra right there and then fold it back over now this is the common question I'm getting asked all the time is like how do you store it well I store it in vacuum packs and then all of a sudden I maybe a month or two into my vacuum packing it pops or something happens to it and it gets freezer burned and whatnot well, this is what you do. You put your saran wrap over it and you make sure you get your, your bones in that middle covered up really well. So what's happening is when people are va vacuuming packing, that those bones that are in the middle are poking holes through their vacuum pack. So you think it's good, but it eventually works its way through and, and, and it starts unloosening and you lose your vacuum and then your fish goes bad. Well, sometimes too, if you're throwing them in there and you're just chucking them in there and you're not being fragile with them, then they'll pop too. Well, anyway, too, if that happens with when you have your saran wrap, then you're not you're not losing. You can actually save some of it with it too, being saran wrap. Then, then you'll throw it in your vacuum pack. Now, one of the things too is I have a borderline commercial uh, vacuum packer. It's like 800 bucks to get this thing, but it's worth it. It's wider. It's like 14 inches wide. Uh, 15 inches wide something like that. It's a lot quieter. You don't have to wear your earmuffs when you're vacuum packing or You don't have to turn the TV up really loud. It's fairly quiet and then Go ahead and vacuum pack it. So this is what I've been doing This whole time with all the fish except the bellies and the back strap Something that whether I want to can later pretty much is why I'm doing it I want to have it for birthdays or Christmas or whatever it is or maybe I, I just don't have all the time to do what I want right now in my head. So this is the way I do it. Fill up the freezers. But I thought I'd show everybody that trick though. I don't know, maybe you do it already, something like that. But I'm getting asked frequently about it. So make sure you put your saran wrap around it. Protect it so it don't poke your holes in it. And then you'll have your nice big fillets that come out like that. Make sure too when you're throwing them in the freezer. You're not throwing them in the freezer. You're setting them in the freezer. I watched people, uh, I'm gonna put CJ's on blast because I watched them when they do my vacuum pack, they turn the boxes over and they smash them down. And I'm like, you went through all that effort to vacuum pack it and then, then you're smashing my stuff and then I get home and the steels are broke. So you wanna be fragile with them too when you're setting them in there and you're taking them out of the freezer too. That's another tip that I see people do all the time. That's kind of a no-no. But um, I hope that helps you with your vacuum packing and your storage of your salmon. Have a good day, everybody.